full body Pilates workout today. We're gonna start on all fours. So you're gonna have your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and on an exhale, I want you to round your spine. So you're gonna tuck your tail, tuck your head, and inhale to arch. We'll just be here for a moment, letting our spine move a little bit, getting in touch with our breath, finding a rhythm. And this is just your time. This 30 second interval is your time to prepare for what's to come. So you are telling your body, hey, I'm here. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna listen to you. I'm going to modify and change as needed. I'll rest when needed. And I'll also try some new things. So let's come to halfway in between those two. And I want you to bring your left arm out in front of you. And then your right leg is gonna come back behind you. So option is just to stay here and practice your balance. Otherwise, I want you to round and bring your knee to your elbow and then reach it all back out. So you exhale round, really tuck and round and pull your belly up. Inhale to reach, exhale. So we have everything working here. We have got abs working. We've got your right arm working quite a bit. And then we've got that left hip working to keep you balanced. Nice job. Bring it all back down. We have another side. Right arm in front, left leg back. Again, stay there and just practice spinal balance or round and then reach. So this will be, like I said, full body workout and it's all levels. So I am giving you a workout today meant to warm up your body. I want this to be one that'll get your heart rate going a little bit and make you think, make you work. But I'll always give you options if you need a different variation of something, okay? That's something you'll always get from me. Come back down, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, and let's just pedal it out. So here you could come onto elbows if needed, or you can just stay on your knees and go into a child's pose. But again, with my purpose here of getting your body warmed up, see if you can maybe pedal a little faster. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. So listen up, we're gonna bring our knees down. And if you need to, you're gonna bring them to touch. Otherwise, I just want them to hover. And then you straighten back up, okay? Hover and straighten. So again, option is let the knees come down and maybe you just rock forward and backward, okay? Otherwise, hover and up. We've got three more. Two. And one. Nice job. Come back down and we'll all come back and then restack. Come up onto your knees, and we're gonna turn sideways on our mat. Left arm out to the side, right hand behind your head, and I'm gonna have you come all the way down here. So my left hand is in line with the left knee, right leg is reaching out long, and you're gonna lift lower. <sighs> nice job, keep pressing your hips forward. Okay, so try not to sink the hips back. And three, two, one, keep it up, pulse. Eight, seven, you got it, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knee with balance, come all the way up and we're gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna talk to you about a product you may use every day, and that's glasses. Whether it's readers, sunglasses, or even blue light glasses, if you're like me, you're grabbing a pair of glasses every single day, and a company you need to know about is Peepers. Peepers is a family-owned company producing amazing blue light glasses, readers, and sunglasses. 
So this is a pair of the blue light glasses I've been using lately. If you're not familiar with blue light glasses, they're imperative to your eye health and decreasing eye strain when you're on devices throughout the day like I am. So I am loving these and they help me definitely with eye strain when I'm on my computer. I also have a few pair of sunglasses. I live in Denver, which is sunny over 300 days a year. I spend a lot of time in Hawaii. Sunglasses are essential for me. I love this aviator style that they have. They have so many styles to choose from and Peepers is offering you 15% off. Use code Jessica15 to get 15% off your own order if you order in the two weeks after this video is posted. If you miss the two week window, no big deal. Still use the link below to check out Peepers for yourself. You can feel good about supporting this company that is committed to sustainability. They have eco-friendly styles and they also give back with their Peepers for Teachers initiative. If you use their frame of the month, you're gonna give back 10% to Peepers for Teachers, which is amazing. I love supporting companies that do good work and Peepers is one of them. So again, use the link below and get your own today. Left hand back behind your head, right hand out. And you're gonna come all the way down. Then press the hips forward so they don't sink back. Reach that left leg out, feel really long, and then lift and lower. It is okay if that leg doesn't lift very high. Okay, especially if you're tight in your hips. So the inspiration for this workout came in real life. The last two days we've had a ton of family stuff come up last minute that we didn't expect. I've gotten no workout in except a little walk. Now hold it and pulse, eight, seven. So right now I'm feeling like I need to move. I am just tight, I wanna move, I wanna breathe, and I want full body. Two, one, bend, and come up. So that's what I'm kinda of showing you here is how, and then you can sit back down. How you can get a full body workout, get your heart rate up, just on the mat. Let's bring the legs out in front and glue the legs together. Okay, so if you need to, you can sit with the knees bent on this one or you can even sit up on a little stool or a block. But I'm gonna be legs straight, glued together, hands behind your head. Inhale, rotate to the right, exhale center. Inhale left, exhale center. Nice job. So we're just gonna keep lifting up and keep rotating. And feel like you get a little taller each rotation. One more each side. Nice job. Arms in front, inhale again. Exhale, curl. Roll yourself down onto your mat. Reach your arms back and hug both knees in. Nice. Keep the right leg, reach the left leg out. Give it one more squeeze, and then reach it up towards the ceiling. Toes are pointed. We're gonna do leg circles. You're gonna cross it slightly to the left as you lower, and then around to the right and up. So you decide how big your circles are gonna be here. The key is I want it controlled. So you want your hips controlled, you want the movement to be purposeful. So maybe you're making a circle the size of a ping pong ball, maybe a dinner plate, maybe a little bigger. It doesn't matter. You do what's right for you in this moment. Switch directions. There's no Pilates police out there telling you that your circles aren't big enough, okay? If you're here moving with me right now, you're doing Pilates, you're moving. It's good for your body, you're doing great. One more. Nice, hug the knee in. Tuck your chin and roll up. So remember at the very beginning when we really pulled the knee to the elbow? I want you to have that feeling here, but now knee to nose, just as much as you can. It might not get there, mine doesn't today. And then switch legs, pause. Knee to nose, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and switch, switch. This is called single leg stretch in the Pilates world. And you can do it right here, okay? If the crunch is too much, just come down. So squeeze and reach, squeeze and reach. 
and four, three, two, one. Pull the left leg in. If you're not there already, roll down. Nice, reach the left leg up. Leg circles here, so cross it over to the right, down and around. Point the toe, because again, that's gonna help that leg be really strong and straight, which I want. Switch directions. Nice, find your breath, three. Two, one, and squeeze it in. Roll up again. This is going to be similar, but we're going to do some crisscross action, which means hands come behind the head. I'm going to twist towards my left knee, then everything to center, switch to the right center. So my legs are still in and out. So bending and stretching and I'm twisting, trying to get my shoulder blade off. Four, three, two, one. Pull everything in and come back down. Nice job. One more in that series, we're gonna do something called double leg stretch. So what it means, you're gonna come up into this little ball, everything's squeezed in, and then you reach arms and legs out and then you bring your arms around and hug your knees back in. So if you can, you're trying to keep that crunch the whole time. And if not, you can just do this right here as well, okay? Four, three, two, and one. And then tuck and roll and tuck and roll to come all the way up. Great job, straighten your legs out. Reach forward and stretch. Roll yourself back up. Nice job. We're gonna come around to all fours again. All right, so we're gonna have hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Let's find that cat. And then that camel stretch. And then halfway in between, reach your right leg back, toes pointed. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Four, three, two, one, either do that again or come back into a plank. Right leg, lift, lift, four, three, good job, leg pull. Switch legs, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, knees down, lower down onto your belly. Bring the arms in front, legs behind, and you're gonna lift your head, arms, legs, and swim. So inhale and exhale. One more big set. And exhale, two, three, four, five, pause. And then bring hands under your shoulders, legs down, and press yourself up. Open up that front body. One more deep breath. Carefully and slowly bend your knees to press yourself back for a child's pose. Great, great job. Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full-length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.